Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 702. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 698 to 702. And this trick here, we want to use VLOOKUP to look up Sue's name, race down the first column, and then we have one, two, three, four, five different columns. And we need to get the third item, which is actually the fourth column in this data set, the actually that's the third one right there one two three we need to get the this value and this value so when you're doing VLOOKUP and you do a match between Sue and Sue or Phil and Phil or whatever you need to tell the VLOOKUP what column contains the value to return so one two three we need a three and a six now the trick is we're gonna return two values to one cell so we're actually gonna have to do two VLOOKUPs and use Shift 7 the ampersand to join them. So equals VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, lookup value, you gotta tell the VLOOKUP what to put in its brain. I'm gonna go take that, comma, and look through this table. Now the first column is what VLOOKUP uses to look up, so it's gonna look for Sue and race down here when it finds Sue. Now this uh, doesn't need to be locked because we're not going to copy this anywhere, comma, and now this is where you need to tell it which column. We have already established three and six. Well for this one, since we only we want two values, we're going to type a three, comma, the um, lookup type or lookup ra uh, range lookup argument right here, which is what type of data is it. You want an exact match or an approximate match. We want exact, so we're going to put zero. Now if I enter this, you could see it returns the 97. If I were to change this to 6, you can see it gives us the 120. Now we need both in one cell. Copy, notice it's in edit mode, so copy. I'm going to change this to a 3. Now I'm going to join ampersand and then you could just put control V and put that uh, second one we've joined two items VLOOKUP is delivering something to a formula now now that doesn't make any sense so we F2 and we're gonna join some text in between now it could be a space uh, I mean it could be a space or a dash or a comma whatever it is it has to be in double quote so I'm gonna double quote comma, space, double quote. Now there's three things, VLOOKUP, this little construct right here, and VLOOKUP, so if you have three things, you need two ampersands. And now if I change this to Sue, we can see we get 709 and 866. Now that's to one cell. Now what if you wanted them in two separate cells? We have the same situation down here. We'll go ahead and uh, create our same VLOOKUP. V lookup. I'm going to look up this value. Now, when we move, copy the formula over here, we need it lock So I'm going to hit the F4 key three times to lock the column reference. So let's move over here. The A is locked. Comma. This will be our lookup table. First column has the lookup value. The remaining ones are columns available to have items returned to the cell. I'm going to hit the F4 key. Comma. Now, column index, we want one, two, three, so I'm just going to put a three here for now, comma, and zero for exact match. Control enter. So Sue 709, that's right. Now let's copy it over and simply change the three to a six. Now that's kind of uh, simple. And most people do that way because, you know, you're building your template. How fast is it to just change that? But if you're doing this a lot, there is a way to increment numbers. Now, we went from 3 to 6, which gets kind of fancy. But let's just see how to go. Uh, let's say we want Sue and we want to extract all of these and not have to change one column number after another. Delete here. We can use the columns with an S function, the columns. It's a way to increment numbers and formulas. We need two, three, four, five, six, because we want to extract them all. So I'm, gonna, I'm sitting in cell B12, dollar sign B12, colon B12. Now that'll give us one, and why? How many columns are there from B to B? One. Notice this is locked, this is not. Let's just see what this does. 
it's given us, because columns one, that returns the first one now. But what happens here? It's returning 368. And the reason why is because now column says, how many columns are there from B to C? There's two. So it uh, works just fine, except for that's not quite what we want. If we want them all, I'm going to add one, plus one. So give us one plus one is two. Now if I copy this over, you could see it will return. So if we change you know, this to fill, it returns all of fills. And that is a lot faster. So you know, if you have a bunch of columns, and actually for lots of data sets, employees' records, uh, customers' records, people do this all the time. And so that's just a quick way to do it. Ah, but our goal is to get even trickier than that. We actually want just 1, 2, 3, and 6. Well, let's edit. I'm going to delete this. Edit this. I'm going to get rid of this backspace, backspace. Now we have 1. Well, let's think about this. What's If we copy it over, now it's going to go 1, 2. If we want 3, 6, can we just take 1 times 3? When it copies over, the 1 turns to a 2. And what's 2 times 3? It's 6. So that will work. So fill, we have this one and this one. So there you go, a little uh, fancy footwork with VLOOKUP returning two values, sometimes to two cells, sometimes to one cell. All right, see you next trick.